What's up, everyone? How you doing? So yesterday, oh my God, it was a festive day yesterday. Last night, uh, as soon as I arrived, my first day, some of my friends called me up, and uh, they, it, was, it was we had to attend a couple of birthday parties. So uh, yeah, I went to the birthday party last night, uh, hung out with my friends, and it was absolutely crazy. But uh, I got really, really stressed out. Like, not stressed out, I got really tired. I got really exhausted. And by the time I came back home, I, I wasn't even having the strength to hold up the camera and, you know, <laughs> vlog the end of the end of that day. But uh, anyway, um, it, it, it was a good day. So I just woke up a while back, took a shower, breath, dressed up. I've got a couple of things to just finish off here in Islamabad. <laughs> I'm gonna finish that off. Um, and probably call up my friends later on again. I'm pretty sure they're, they're, they've got something else um, planned up already. So, yeah, um, just going to go out, finish off that, those couple of things, and uh, then I'm going to call up my friends. And it's going to be a new day. Day two in Islamabad, Pakistan. It's, it, day one was crazy. Uh, day one was crazy. Like, I, I reached the airport, uh, <coughs> I think, one, one in the morning or two in the morning. And uh, I stayed in the airport. I met up with somebody there uh, who works basically in the airport, and he's just a uh, Quinton. So um, I hung out with him for like a couple of hours. We were just standing there having coffee and just talking and talking and talk. Uh, and then after that, I just uh, got a cab for myself, came over to the hotel. And turns out I was exhausted. I was really tired, so I just slept. Anyway, so another day. Uh, day two in Islamabad. Uh, today's gonna be a crazy day again. See you guys in a while. I don't know where my camera holder is gone. Amazed at how many people are coming over to Pakistan from uh, from how many foreigners because uh, yesterday it was Manuel from Ecuador and today it's uh, all right. I forgot his name, but he's some guy from Jordan uh, and he's a very close friend to my friend Asil uh, Asil Awad, who's also a traveler and a vlogger. Uh, this place is a hub, a hub for travelers. I, mean, I didn't know, it's just a coincidence that I reached here. I just booked myself here and I came over to this place. I was exhausted, I just wanted to get some rest, but turns out this is a really nice place. Now I know where to go when I, I want to find some fellow follow, uh, fellow travelers. Uh, followers, I hope there are followers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, I've, uh, I've met this guy. Um, uh, uh, he's, 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 a, he's a flatmate now and he's traveling across Pakistan. I had to leave, I have to go out and get some things done. I'll be back in a while and uh, I'll catch up with him. I'll catch up with him again and get to know him better. You know, exchange number. I didn't even exchange numbers with him. Anyway, the point is this place is a good place. This entire place is a good place. I went over to the market. I had a, well, my tripod had broken, so I had to buy a new tripod. And I was, I was uh, starving. Yeah, that, that's what was happening. I was starving, so I had to go and buy some food as well. I ate this burger from this place. And it was amazing. <laughs> it was amazing. Anyway, so I'm back in my place. Uh, I'm gonna go upstairs, I'm gonna see if my flat buddy is still home. He's a traveler and I'll probably have a little bit of question and answer session with him. Anyway, I'm back and we'll catch up later. Hello everyone, how are you doing? Uh, of course, you know who I am. My name is Abdurrahman and uh, today, basically, this is my second day in Islamabad when I've come back from Dubai. Uh, yesterday I met with one, but he was uh, traveling somewhere else. 
Uh, so I couldn't catch up to him. And today, this guy is well, going to be traveling somewhere and he's about to leave. So I was like, hey, hang on a minute. I'm just going to uh, just just do a small little interview. Uh, so uh, guys, of course, you know uh, the t channel and uh, do subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe, subscribe to our channel and uh, do like this video if you like it. And if you don't, leaving a like would really uh, make a difference. Um, it would make a difference to us, but it wouldn't hurt anyone. Don't you think? <laughs> yeah. Let me introduce you guys uh, to Mr. Qasim. Qasim is, uh, well, let's just get on over to him and ask him who he is and what he does and where is he from and how long has he been in this uh, uh, path of traveling. Uh, Mr. Yeah. Qasim, how are you? Yeah, I'm good, how are you? I'm doing great, I'm doing great. So <laughs> tell us about yourself a little bit, sir, Mr. Qasim. Okay, so my name is Qasim. I'm from Jordan and I've been traveling uh, for six years. Wow, but okay. continuously for two years. All right. Two and a half. And uh, I've been to 50 countries so far in these couple of years. Uh, lucky you. <laughs> and um, yeah, that's. I have a blog, a uh, YouTube channel called Ibn Hattuta. Ibn Hattuta. I share okay. some travel documentaries about my trips, every experience I have, and uh, stories from around the world. Mr. Qasim, what made you start traveling? Okay, uh, the first trip was with my parents and um, it was just a normal wait, 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 family wait, wait. trip to Turkey. To Turkey, okay. And I just uh, fell in love with the idea of traveling, finding new people, new experiences, different languages, food. But it was a bit expensive at the time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So uh, with time I found some ways to travel for cheap, you know, couch surfing, staying in hostels. Uh, these kind of things using public transport. Okay. okay. So I started just each time I have a bit of money, I just use it to travel and you I know. kept on going since then. Okay, great. And of course, uh, you have a YouTube uh, channel. Yeah. So, of course, I'll be leaving the YouTube uh, the link to uh, Mr. Qasim's channel in the description below. You guys can definitely go and subscribe to his channel. Jordan and Pakistan, there's a, a very um, a friendly friendly relationship between Jordan and Pakistan. Yeah. Uh, and that comes uh, from quite some time now. Um, is Pakistan, is this your first visit to Pakistan? Yes, it is my it first is. visit. Uh, okay, so okay. Let, the first question is, what made you decide to come to Pakistan? What was the, what was the whole motivation behind uh, taking uh, It was open during COVID. Uh-huh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> because motivation is COVID. <laughs> and the ticket was cheap. Okay, great. So you didn't hear anything about Pakistan? As in, did you, didn't, you didn't, didn't well, Of know course anything? I heard, but I just go anywhere. Uh -huh. That's open nowadays. This okay, is so my... how, how was your experience in Pakistan, given the fact that when you go about uh, uh, at, as a traveler, yeah. as a blogger? Yeah, so. it's a beautiful place to be. It's uh, one of the friendliest countries to, to travel in, uh, unlike what some people would think. So people are nice, hospitable everywhere, it's cheap, the food is good. There are many good places, yeah. nature in the that. north. Yeah, <laughs> some good architecture. Yeah, interesting Mughal architecture, and uh, uh, it has lots of interesting stories and history. So it's a perfect place to travel. What is your plan now? Like, how how long have you been here now? I've been here uh, two weeks, something like two this. Weeks. I think. Okay, and where were you? And where did you go? And where are you going? Okay, I started in Karachi. Okay, wow. Okay, and I went to Lahore from there. Mm -hmm. Then to Hunza, okay. Gilgit, and then back to Islamabad, and now I go to Peshawar. I have some friends I'm staying with in Peshawar. Okay. Then uh, I don't know yet. Maybe uh, I'll go to Multan. Okay, historical places. Well, yeah, yeah. Been, Multan yeah. maybe. Then I travel to Egypt. So. <laughs> That's the plan of Qasim, he's pro probably going to be going to uh, Multan, uh, he's been to uh, Islamabad by the way, is the second most beautiful capital of the world, mm. and Peshawar is called the, uh, the city of flowers, Okay. so I'm pretty sure you're going to be enjoying your trip to cool. Peshawar, and do not forget, because when, you, when, when it comes to Pakistan, you always talk about food. There's always food in Pakistan. Yeah. First of all, it's cheap. Secondly, it's extremely good. Yeah. <laughs> it's really good food. It's um, so good. And, and secondly, uh, thirdly, Peshawar is one of the places where basically food, Lahore and Peshawar are basically the food centers. Yeah. So you should definitely go to a place called Namak Mindi. 
Namak Mindi. Yeah, salt Mindi. It's like Namak is, it, it, okay. it is meaning, the meaning of Namak is salt. Okay. So you should definitely, and I recommend anyone who's coming to Peshawar to definitely, or Pakistan at all, to definitely go to Peshawar and definitely visit Namak Mindi. Yeah. Uh, guys, uh, Qasim doesn't really have a lot of time. I just grabbed him like forcefully, <laughs> sit with me. I want to have, have an interview with you. <laughs> and uh, he doesn't really have some, like, so much time. He's going to be traveling to uh, Peshawar from here. And uh, I, I hope and I wish you all the best, man. Thank you so and much, hopefully brother. hopefully we do meet again. Hopefully. If you come to Dubai, I'm going to be going back to Dubai in yeah, yeah, yeah. again because I am a resident of Dubai. Okay. Um, so if you do come to Dubai, Maybe let's catch up. Anyway, it was a pleasure meeting you, Kasim. So you. guys, um, the travel diary and the travel vlog, the whole thing is going to go on. We're going to meet new people. We're going to be talking to new people. And uh, do see us soon. Not forget to subscribe to our channel and like this video. See you guys soon. Bye.